hi guys so welcome back to my channel i've been getting a lot of messages people telling me do a cooking vlog do a cooking vlog do a cooking vlog so finally i am doing a cooking vlog let me hear hallelujah so let's get started So I went to the African shop this morning to buy a uh, fish so I ended up getting this fish and um, what did they call it macro isn't it macro fish and I got okra right and I got crayfish but I also wanted to get a stockfish head but they didn't have the stockfish head today and there's another stockfish they had uh the woman was telling me that it was 18 euro and guys that stockfish was very small for them to sell it 18 euro and um i normally get the stockfish head like a good big bag of it which is like six euro to compare to that other stockfish maybe because of the fish is more expensive i don't know but um i i i initially she said 18 euro i was like where is it because if it's a big bag of stockfish i don't mind buying it because it's gonna last me so when she finally brought out the stockfish and i was like no in my mind i'm like no that is too small for me to buy it um 18 euro so i decided to take my longer throat hmm? In Igbo, they call it abiliogunogo longer throat when you're dying to eat something. I decided to take my longer throat and <laughs> walk away, go home without uh, buying the stockfish. I feel like it's not that I can't afford to get that stockfish, but I felt like that's, that was absolutely too small for me to buy that stockfish that price. So that is why I don't have stockfish today. But, um, I feel like I'm going to regret not buying the stockfish, but at the same time, I cannot afford to pay that price for that stockfish. So I am going to open this. Um, I'm going to open this bag of fish. Let's see if I can put that here. Move this camera a bit more. So let me get my knife. I got my knife. Psh, 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 psh. Let's open this. I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using maybe four of this fish today. They are still a bit hard. Or or three. I don't know. Let me cut it and see. But they're still a bit hard. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if I can cut because see, it's still a bit um, hard. Ah, it's all right, but it's, it's a bit hard to to cut. So. Yeah, it's, it's okay, but I'm finding it difficult to slice it because it's still a bit a uh, block. Oh my lord, it's very hard. But I can't wait for it to, uh, you know, I can't wait for it to be soft. Because very soon it will be time to go and pick up the kids. Today is my off day from work. Usually I'm working on Monday but I didn't. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm just enjoying the time. Oh.
so I am done slicing the fish I am going to put it inside this pot um, I'm looking for my small knife because I usually use it to take out I'm trying to take out the things inside the fish So for the head of the fish, I'm going to take out this thing by the side of it. See this? That is my fish. I'm going to put it inside the sink and wash it. So let's wash this fish. So that is my fish. I'm going to add a little bit of water in this fish, not too much, a little bit. And let me wash out this my sink. Because I don't I don't like the smell of fish at all. The smell of fresh fish. When it's fresh, I don't like how it smells. But when I cook it, I love it. So let's try and take out all the smelliness out of here. Okay. So yeah, and we come back here. I need to put onions in the fish. So I'll just take onions. I was just rinsing out this knife. So let's cut the onions. So I like slicing my onions like this. So that's, oop, <laughs> that's the way it is.
so it is on the stove mm -hmm. it's here I'm going to put the stove on and then let's add our salt and maggie so that is the salt I am going to add this jollof chicken seasoning I love it not not only for jollof but just for the smell I love the way it smells so I'm gonna add that because this fish is for soup I'm not going to be adding uh, too much uh, other spice that I usually add for rice you know if it's a rice that i'm cooking with it now i will add curry thyme and all the bubble tea yeah so i'm going to add maggi yeah i'll open my maggi i'll add this I'm going to cover the pot and let this fish cook for for 10 minutes so now the fish is cooking I am going to tidy this place up and start cutting my okra so I'm gonna take all this to the bin Under here, I'll put this all my rubbish. I'll put it in the bin now. Wash out this my board. So I'm gonna add some soap and just. Let's let's wash let's wash our okra so let me see if i can find so that is it i'm going to put the okra inside here and wash it before i start slicing the okra so let's So that is my okra. I am going to start slicing it. Usually I just hold I hold my okra like this and I start cutting like that. You know. There's nothing a uh... So that's how I cut it. I know so many people have a different way of uh, slicing their okra but I like to slice my okra this way and I don't like my okra too tiny I want that that when I'm eating it that I can also be crunching it with my teeth so I don't like it too tiny so this fish is ready I am going to be frying it now because I like to fry fry or oven grill I do not have time for oven grill today because it takes time so I'll take that out of the stove I normally use that pot for frying I will add I hope I have another oil here because if I don't because there's nothing in this one 
I found another oil. So hallelujah. Let's open it up. So I'll add more oil in this one. And I will use it to fry. So I'll leave that to heat up and then I'll start adding my fish. Take our fish and we add it inside the oil. So that is frying now. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Meanwhile, I am still cutting this my <laughs> okra. I don't want to be showing you guys the process of cutting the okra because I know you know how to cut the okra. So I'm still cutting that okra while my fish is still frying. I am going to mm, get my palm oil. This is the palm oil that I normally use for cooking. Mm, that's the palm oil. So um yeah i don't know if i am doing this cooking vlog properly because this is my first i do do cooking videos where i'm just you know just talking about cooking just focusing on cooking but when you're um vlogging i think it's different from doing cooking videos so officially this is my first vlogging video Ever. I have never vlog at the same time and cook at the same time but yeah bear with me if I'm not getting it right uh, it's a learning process we get there at the end so the fish is ready we are going to be taking it out from the stove I'm putting them here to dry off the to dry off the oil I'm going to add more of the fish. What I'm going to add water in this pot. So I'm going to put this pot to start boiling. I have covered the top. I'm going to leave it to boil. Then I'll add palm oil inside this pot. So I am going to add my palm oil. So I've added that. I'm going to take, take out this fish because it's completely fried now. That is that. I'm going to take that out of the stove. Why that is out of the stove? I'm going to put this. That is my water for my uh, fufu. I'm going to leave it to start boiling. And my palm oil is also boiling in this pot. So we are almost halfway finished cooking this soup. I have the okra ready. So that is my okra there. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is blend this okra uh, fish. I was thinking to use this, but that is too small. I'll at least do three times before I finish blending that okra fish. But if I use the big one, this big one also blend very well like the little one. So I'll use my big blender to blend the okra fish up. But first of all, before I blend it, I like to put it here and kind of take out all the um, all the small small stuff in the crayfish first before I blend the crayfish. So I am going to add it inside here. So 
so I'm going to blend that up so that is done blending I am going to put it in here I add all my crayfish when I blend them I add them inside this container then I can you know use it from this container okay So we are going to add this crayfish to the soup. So I'm going to add the crayfish. I'll add three scoop of it. And meanwhile, my um, water for making fufu is also boiling. I'm going to pound my pepper. I'm going to add this pepper bit by bit I'm not gonna add all of them because I don't want my children to start complaining oh it's too spicy oh it's too spicy so I'll add that one first and I'll start adding my fish back it a bit let it simmer a bit while that one is cooking the next thing that I will do is start blending my oat so I'll use this blender again to blend my oat so that is the oat that I'm going to be using yeah it's just a normal simple oat anyway so. So this is blend now so I'm going to start making my my fufu my famous oat fufu let me show you guys today how I make it I have gotten loads of message how do you make this fufu how do you make it? let me show you today it is time to add okra in this pot look at it is Sizzling. Let's try and add okra. That's the whole of the okra. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of water because it's I can't see any water, which is good. Some people like it like that, but my children, my children will tell me there is no soup. There's no water, they will say there is no soup. So let me cover that and let that be simmering. So meanwhile, I need to show you guys how I make my fufu. I'm going to add the, the oat in it. So I, I added a bit more oat, right? So I'm going to keep stirring it.
and meanwhile before i added this oat i took out half of the water so i'm going to be adding the water bit by bit you know so i took out half of the water so the water will not be too big for the oat so i will add a little bit of water as i go And when you're doing this, keep the the heat on a medium because you don't want to burn it. Meanwhile, my um, my soup. I'll show you guys my soup. Okay. Ooh, it's smoking. It is smoking hot. Oh. yep i am going to taste it and see if i need to add more maggi or more salt but i added a lot of uh, maggi and salt when i was cooking the fish but i will try it and i will taste it and see if i need any of that meanwhile that is my oat here it is sizzling i'll leave it to boil a bit then i will turn it of maggi I will add it I will add two maggi because because I feel like there is not enough but I will not add the uh, salt I'll just add two more I'll just add two more of the maggi I'll put a little for me or oh, if left for me I like the soup the way it is but for my children I will add a tiny bit of water because they like it when it's not too thick if it's not about too thick you know if it's too thick they will feel overwhelming mm, perfect two more maggi I'll cover it another five minutes this will be ready so let me turn my fufu as you can see that my fufu is ready you know why i like old fufu old fufu does not take it does not take too much time to cook it does not take too much time to cook at all so i'll leave it to simmer for a bit now you see is ready and this is my soup as well <laughs> it's ready oh oh my god i can't wait to eat this one i can smell it it smells so lovely it smells so lovely and i can taste the pepper because for my children that doesn't like too much pepper once the pepper is too much they will not eat it they will not eat it at all so see i still have uh, some of that pepper here i only took uh will i say half yeah will i say half i only took a uh, half you know and uh, i can taste it very well in the soup so i don't need to add a bit more that is enough it's done now i'm not gonna cook it anymore it's done and when you're eating oats it's like cooking your oats it doesn't take time to cook that's why i like it so i'm going to turn it now if i turn it now it's done i'll get i'll take it out of the i'll take it out of the stove as well that is it here you see that is that is completely done it's done now so so now i am going to wrap this my fufu because when you make oat fufu it's good to wrap it up 
and let it cool down first before you eat it so i'm going to use clean fin i'm going to put it here and and i'm going to wrap it up you know just leave it for like 10 minutes when it cool down that is when you can enjoy this fufu So this is it that is my fufu wrap top so i'm going to let them cool down first before we start eating it so yes but anyway this is what is one something now by the time my kids finish 2 30 it will be nice to eat so now i am done cooking i hope you enjoy this cooking vlog cook with me call it i don't know what to call it is a cooking vlog or cook with me video i hope you enjoyed it it was nice cooking and talking to you guys at the same time i'm going to let the food to cool down before i dive i'm thinking maybe do um eating the okra soup with you guys i might do that now i might just you know carry on and do the eating video when my when my fufu has a uh, calm down yeah I will then carry on and do you know eating video as well why not it's a good day for it so yeah this is the final result oh look at that pot of soup I can't wait to get it on and I left this to soak up and then I'll wash it when it when it's um when it's a bit soft I'll wash it up apart from that I am done for today I'm going to tidy up because look at this place like take a look at this place like this my kitchen counter is a bit messy and everything is all over the place so I am going to tidy up especially my sink I have a couple of stuff to wash out from there I'm going to tidy this up put them in the cupboard and wash all this thing up so guys give this video a thumbs up if you like my cook with me or cook vlog whatever it is give it the thumbs up and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on my next one bye